So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the new knowledge base on Vapi because Vapi discontinued all their old knowledge bases. So now we're importing that brand new one in and we're going to show you how to connect it up and analyze the data effectively. So you're probably wondering who is this random guy to? My name is John, John Joshin, and I've helped over 50, maybe 100 different companies at this point, ranging from real estate companies to tree companies to franchise consultants and many more. So let's jump right into this so you can learn how to import this knowledge base. I'm going to show you how to actually add this new knowledge base in because Vapi discontinued their, all their old knowledge bases. So now we got to use this new platform, integrate those past knowledge bases into that platform, and then import them into Vapi. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this platform right here, and we're not going to choose a data set. We're going to go to the agency view, and I'm going to show you how to create a data set completely from scratch. So we're going to hit create, and we're going to call this yt-test, and we're going to go to configuration. This, just keep the base of everything, and we're going to hit create new data set. So now we're in this data set. We actually want to upload the file in. Right? So the file that I'm going to be utilizing is this file right here, just as a test document. So we just downloaded that and we're going to download it into this data set. So there we go. And then we want to do a group tracking ID. So we want to do frequently asked questions. And then the same thing for there. This is the split, so this will split it into chunks. So for example, question marks, periods, everything like that will split it. So then you can have a better understanding and better split. So maybe you have different categories in your knowledge base, you have different this, you have different that, right? That's how you're gonna wanna split it. So we do that and we're just gonna keep it at the base for now. We're gonna upload chunk files. So now that that is uploaded, we're gonna click on groups and we're gonna check the group. So in this group, we have 182 chunks, which means it was dispersed properly and things are working. So from there, I'm going to go back to the dashboard and we're not going to select on this. We're going to go back to the organization. So API keys select API key name is YT dash test and the scopes. We're going to make sure that we're selecting this new test and routes. We're going to do query suggestions. This is all good to go. So we're going to create. We're going to copy that new API key. So then if I go back to Vapi, for example, we want to make sure that API key is imported in the provider credentials. So if I go down here, delete, add, save. Cool. Now that we have that in there, that's good to go. And then next thing we want to do is go into the data set and we're going to find this data set ID. So if I go into here then, and we're going to do provider ID just like that. And then we're going to call this yt dash test. So then if I hit save, then run this module only. And you can see we have a success. It was imported into our org ID. So if I go here, and I'm going to refresh the page. Let's make sure that everything was imported properly. So give it a little second. <coughs> Assistance. Ava, YT test, it's all in there. So I'm gonna hit save. And let's talk to the assistant. This is Ava. How may I assist you today? Hey Ava, how do I add a smart list? To add a smart list, go to choose a filter. Then click on remember. Smart lists are only visible to your user account and not the entire sub account. Okay, how do I add someone to go high level? To add someone to go high level, follow these steps. One, go to in the bottom left corner of the dashboard. Two, click on three. In the top right corner, click on. From there, you can enter the necessary details to add a new user. Let me know if you need any more assistance. How do I connect to Zoom? To connect to Zoom, follow these steps. One, go to settings on the CRM. Two. Click on my profile, three. Scroll down to see calendars, four. Find the section labeled video conferencing, five. Connect Zoom or another platform from there. If you need any further assistance, feel free to. And just like that, we can see it was able to understand this knowledge base effectively. 
Obviously, this is just a test knowledge base. It needs to be reformatted correctly. But once you have the correct formatting in the knowledge base, it'll be able to say the information correctly and pull from the knowledge base effectively too. So that should help you guys because I know when we saw the files and all the files being removed, it was completely havoc. We didn't have access to it. There were a bunch of clients who were like, hey, we need this, we need this, we need this. So we figured it out and there you go. I hope this helped. So I hope that video helped and not just that, we also have a community on school where we're helping people set up their AI, sell the AI, and different things along those lines. So if you want to join this community, you can get access to entire setups from step one to step 10 to all of our Go High Level Snapshots, Make.com, different prompting setups, Boppy tools, how to rebuild with Boppy, setting up a knowledge base, throwing Boppy on the website. Let's see what else. We also have all of our YouTube video templates. So all of our templates, if you go in here, you can just download the resource just like that and you have access to it right there. So then we also have a new area where it teaches you how to actually acquire clients. So we have all of our different pricing models so you can price the voice AI effectively. It has all of our contracts and it has different email copywriting, where to buy domains, all of this different stuff. Not just that, we also have twice a week group calls so we're teaching people exactly how to set up the voice AI effectively. And it's one-on-one -on -one training with myself and whoever wants to join in and get support. So I hope that helps. And if you want to join in, we have calls on Tuesday, 4 p.m. Eastern, and Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern.